What's up, everybody? Another video, Mo checking in. And uh, I thought I would do kind of the pivotal how I knew I was trans video. Seems very popular amongst uh, trans related channels. So I thought I'd throw in my two cents. And I think my story is a little different, maybe, than some other people's. And maybe this will help some people out because I kind of wish I would have seen maybe something like this. So I go start now by saying that I am only out to a couple people, uh, which is interesting because I put my face all up on YouTube and stuff like that, which is a totally public sector. But um, personally, I'm only out to a few people. My partner is very supportive, not out to my family or anything like that just yet. Um, maybe a couple of friends know. But regardless, they do know me as a lesbian. I came out as a lesbian. Um, my junior year of high school to quite a few people and my senior year came out to my family and everything like that but it never felt like the right title it just seemed the only reason it seemed correct was that I had a female body and that I was attracted to females and um, that it was a very common term you know a lot of people know when you look at LGBTQIA and all that stuff a lot of people know about lesbians gays bisexuals but the T transgender is very uh, little known um, by, by a lot of people that aren't in, involved in the queer community. So I didn't know much about trans people. I mean, I, I wasn't that sheltered. I wasn't sheltered really at all. So I knew that these people existed and I knew that there were, you know, um, you know, gender reassignment surgeries and stuff like that. Although I didn't know a lot of the details, like hormones, um, what it took to, you know, like therapy, hormone replacements, stuff like that. I didn't know all, all the, the details and the road to get there. But once I got to college, and I got involved in the, the LGBTQ Resource Center and started meeting new people and learning a lot of new vocabulary and really opening, expanding my mind, not really opening, it was already open, expanding my mind and vocabulary. I was like, oh, there's this thing, you know, called being trans, transgender. And I was like, it kind of, you know, I think this is common for a lot of guys, but it kind of clicked. It was, that seemed better. That seemed like a better fit. So, I mean, I remember I just looked it up. First thing you do, I mean, this day and age, it was back in 2009. Of course, I like, I, the first thing I did was like go to my computer and start Googling stuff. And of course, I found a plethora of YouTube channels, some guys that I learned a lot from who unfortunately don't really make videos anymore because they're kind of so far along in their transition. And I was completely enthralled. It just seemed right. I loved watching these guys. It seemed like me. It seemed like something that I could do. Um, and here I am now. I mean, I started, I realized that to maybe transitioning fully wasn't right for me at the time. So I mean, I, but I kind of started transitioning in my own way. Um, no longer did I even attempt to dress female. Not that I ever really did, but I mean, don't even touch any type of female clothes. Even if it's like girly, like even if it's like a, 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 a woman's piece of clothing, but it's a little bit more masculine, still don't do it. I mean, I completely shop in the men's section now. I dress this way. Um, I bought a couple of yeah, I bought like a binder and all, you know, other FTM type supplies, you know, and, um, you know, I started working out, as you guys all know, to kind of try to masculinize my body a little bit, you know, come out to a few people. And it's been a great experience. It's been really empowering. I've even talked to a couple classes in my college, uh, at my university, kind of teaching people about um, the trans community and that we're okay, we're normal, it's no big deal, and it's gone over really well, and it's been really empowering. But I kind of wanted to share the unique side of my story and that's that I found out I felt I found that I was trans later in life um you know around 18 which I hear so many stories and they're awesome stories that I hear so many stories of trans guys that have known since they were like three years old like oh I've always known I was different um you know I, I told my mom that you know I wanted to grow this or get this taken off or uh, I cried when I had to wear a certain amount of clothes and or certain type of clothes, I mean, and I just didn't feel like I had those, those really hardcore experiences. Um, I mean, I, I remember feeling kind of different, you know, I always played on the playground, sorry, my dog's squeaking her toy, um, I always played on the playground with the guys, never really liked hanging out with the girls, because they were boring, they just kind of like sat around and gossiped at recess, and you know, I, my brother gave me some hand-me-down clothes at one point, uh, when I was younger, and I remember like loving them because they were like male jeans and like, ah, uh, it was, I wore them all the time. A lot of times in my room, like alone, <laughs> which is funny. Um, 
but I didn't feel like I had some of those like pivotal experiences like some guys some guys um, have. So that sometimes makes me feel like my experiences aren't as like as valid. Although I know that they are. No one's ever made me feel that way. This is a personal thing. But I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to let guys out there know that how you identify is how you identify, you know. Um, if you didn't have those, you know, mind-blowing experiences that some of these guys had, you know, at a younger age, um, then that's okay. You're just as, um, you, you are who you are. You feel how you feel. And, you know, I had those types of experiences that guys, that guys talk about. But instead of having them, you know, at five, six, and seven years old, I kind of had them later. So they're still just as valid, and um, I I do identify as trans, and um, I've always felt more masculine my whole life. You know, I you know I kind of had the same experiences as a lot of kids. You know, you think about um, partners, like future partners. Maybe you think about marriage and stuff like that. But I was always the male role when I thought about that kind of stuff. You know, marriage or something like that. Like I was always the groom, like always, and like these little like you know things and when I'd play like house or something with friends if I ever did that kind of thing I was always the husband and it wasn't that I wanted to be like a butch woman or a butch lesbian say later in life it that wasn't that wasn't enough that's not what exactly what it was I wanted to be male fully and I've always felt that way um so that's my experience I know this is kind of a broken video but um sorry my dog was squeaking her toy in the background I'll try to lower the background noise she loves her toy but that's my experience, guys. I know it's a little bit different. Uh, just main message is everyone's experiences are different. And don't, uh, don't think that your experience is like not as valuable or as important as someone else's. And respect everyone else's experiences. And um, love yourself. And I'll make another video soon. All right, guys.